Well, New York taking steps to protect transgender students. This as federal government moves to restrict the freedoms of the LGBTQ community. News 12 Long Island's Eileen LaPalmer explains. I knew I was transgender from a very young age. 18-year-old Madeline Bruni was born male, but now identifies female. She says she was bullied when she transitioned in middle school and started using the women's bathroom. No, you got it from the students and you got it from the teachers, too. It was just awful. Bruni joined other trans children at the LGBT network in Woodbury today, all expressing concern after President Trump rescinded federal guidelines instructing schools nationwide to allow children to use bathrooms corresponding to the gender they identify with. Refusing to protect our most vulnerable youth is both deplorable and dangerous. President Trump's spokesman said today the president is very sympathetic to trans children, but... The president said literally it should be a state decision. Last year, the New York State Education Department issued guidelines that trans children should be treated as the gender they identify with. And here in the Jericho schools, students are allowed to use whichever bathroom matches the gender they identify with. And the superintendent says that's not about to change now. With or without that directive, uh, kids would be treated uh, with respect and they would be supported. Late this afternoon, the state ed department and the state attorney general sent this reminder to all school districts saying, quote, irrespective of the federal government's decision, they have independent duties under state and local law to protect transgender students from discrimination and harassment. The teachers have been wonderful. Lauren Bocchetti's 10-year-old son, Zach, is transgender. She wishes children across the country could experience the same acceptance that she says Zach has had at his Massapequa Elementary School. Now he's comfortable going to the boys' room. Would this look right going into the girls' room? He's a boy. He's a boy. Under today's reminder, things should stay the same at schools throughout New York State, but the LGBT advocates insist this is a civil rights issue and should be protected federally. Today, the LGBT network established a 24-hour hotline for people to call if they experience discrimination. That number is 646-535-4528. Eileen LaPalmer, News 12 Long Island.